Hey there, it's Jack Gately from JackGately.com and the Online Real Estate Academy and the Cape Cod Online Real Estate Academy as well. Uh, just a quick video today to show you a new feature from MLS PIN. So MLS PIN has teamed up with Cloud CMA. Cloud CMA. You may have heard of Cloud CMA before. It is previously a service in Massachusetts, which you would have to have paid for, usually on a monthly basis, a subscription service. But now it is included in your MLS PIN account. And this is big news, and it just happened this week. And so we're going to do just a really quick video today to kind of give you a flavor of what this might mean. If you have not yet had or used Cloud CMA, you now get it free with your MLS PIN account. So let's take a look at it together, you and me. Let's get started. So just simply log into your MLS PIN account, and you'll notice that there's a new tab at the top of the page that says Cloud CMA. Let's click that together and see what happens. I believe that we're going to get a login screen a little bit slow there we go where you're just going to fill in your information i'm going to go do that and then i'm going to hit place order and create my account so i'll go do that once i've entered in my basic information it brings me to a thank you screen and then it asks me for additional information company photo company name uh, i'm going to go fill out this information here office address pretty basic stuff you you could probably change this later but doesn't hurt to get it done right the first time so there we go there we're going to hit save and continue it also told me that i got a welcome email which is probably includes some important information about my account i'll probably check that in a few minutes let's hit save and continue and there we go uh we are in and it does have a nice about five minute video here that um is a kickstart video i strongly recommend watching that but let's just create a quick cma for ourselves and see how that goes but we would do that by just clicking the CMA tab at the top by the way you'll notice there are five tabs across the top and you can really use this tool for working with buyers or sellers so there's a flyer tab to create basically a one pager on a property there's a property tab a buyer tour like if you're going to be seeing multiple properties with a buyer you know on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon um, so let's create a new CMA. So we're on the CMA tab. Let's create the new CMA report. We'll click that. And here we go. We'll just call this person uh, Joe Johns. Uh, you know, just make up a name. And I'll, we'll use a street address for a property that is actually I currently have under agreement. Um, 11 Pine Mountain Drive. This is my own listing. And there it is. Pre-populates there. We could choose a file photo if we want. Um, we'll throw in the square footage, the bedrooms, and the bathrooms, although technically that's probably um, optional. We could put in some advanced information. We'll skip that for now. Then you can have your choice of picking up uh, either comps by specific MLS number, that would be on the left, or just by kind of letting it do its work for you. We'll get 10 listings, no later than a year old. Um, yeah, let's just hit fetch listings and see what happens. Do, 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 do. So it's just kind of thinking here for a second. I'm not sure exactly how long this thinking is going to take. It's gathering data. The, the data gathering only took a quick second. And here we go. We have some uh, various listings here that are from 319 to 419. Uh, with an average of 570, just don't think, of, oh, uh, I'm sorry, low of four, 319, a high of 1.25 million. Um, then we have our subject property that appears to be in the purple dot there that's all mapped out for us and everything. Down here, we can just pick some uh, potential comps. Uh, let's just pick the, the treetop. That's in, actually in the same neighborhood. I wonder how we pick that um oh here's our our property there 11 pine mountain you know what we'll just we'll just gonna select them all and see what happens just kind of give you an idea of how nice this comes out as compared to the prior um report that the typical old-fashioned mls pin 
CMA tool was, well, how do we say this? A little clunky, right? Very kind of like 1997-ish. Um, this is uh, much, much more beautiful. So you can customize it here on the customization tab. Again, this is just a quick overview, but wow, there's a lot of ways you can customize this CMA. Look at that. That's a long list here. Uh, you could really put this and, and make it your own. It's going to be quite a nice product. Let's just hit publish report. And it's obviously making a kind of a CMA for us right here. Now, we didn't really pick the right properties or anything. I just kind of want to show you the cosmetic result of this thing. Um, here we go. View. Um, and up it comes. Come on now. It's, it, it's working in the background here. Five seconds left. This is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, I know it's taking a quick second here. And it should be on our screen in just a moment. Hopefully. Oh, there it is. Uh, wow, what a much nicer report than what we got with the old MLS tool. You got a map, uh, kind of like, a, looks like a Google uh, Earth type of image there. And that is the house. That's accurate. Um, we have the date. I uh, have my information that they populated from the uh, account information they put it right down there so you know i added that stuff just while making today's video um we have a quick definition of what is a cma so that would be helpful for the client of course and are they accurate how to contact me there's all my information i didn't do any of this it's kind of completely did this um on its own that's great um it did locate me in the wrong neighborhood in Boston, so I'll have to fix that. I did upload my logo. That's nice. That's there. And and then, you know, as it continues on with uh, a bunch of other listings. So not bad. Um, summary of comparable properties. It's, it's quite a nice presentation. Um, and basically, we're just looking at the comparables right now. Of course, there's my listing there. And we do have it under agreement for um the list price so actually i sold this house in um like three days uh so looking pretty good um for for this cma i really really like it i believe that it's going to take a long time to kind of tweak it so it you get it the way you want it to look um that's going to take a little bit of time but wow what a great benefit for um people who are not currently paying for cloud cma it, you now get it free. If you had a paid cloud CMA account, then you you no longer have to pay for it. So either way, this is a win-win, uh, and, and it is quite a, a nice presentation. So um, these are, must be some comparable properties that are for sale out there. Yeah, this is one. Obviously, this is this is uh, more. This is actually well, that's a really nice photo, really nice photography on this particular listing, and it comes in really, really nice on this particular property. Um, this is not my listing. This is somebody else's listing. All right, so they're just showing that as as a comparable property, which I wouldn't have picked, but we didn't really spend a lot of time picking the comparables. Hey, so I'm Jack Gately from Jack Gately Real Estate. You can find me at jackgately.com or at the All Online Real Estate Academy, or at the Cape Cod Online Real Estate Academy. Uh, just a quick um, preview of Cloud CMA. Get into it. I think it's going to really up your game as an agent. Um, and you can get it now completely free from your MLS PIN account. Hey, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.